the issues that have not been raised in the statement. The first point is about civilian um, casualties of the NATO air attacks on Libya. The Security Council finds this issue very important because the deaths of uh, civilians was uh, caused by sanctioned actions on their part and whereas they were supposed to protect civilians. On the 3rd of November, the Secretary General of NATO stated that Libya has no confirmed civilian casualties from the air attacks and therefore there would be no further need for investigation. Nevertheless, there was an investigation uh, committee from the Human Rights Council and on the 2nd of March there was a report that talked about the deaths of m uh, dozens of civilians because of the air attacks. But however, NATO said it's its, um, its own affairs. On the 5th of March it was announced that no statement could be made about the uh, casualties because, and I quote, he wasn't able to check the figures. Now, we need, how is it possible that they are not able to accept responsibility for this? We expect that NATO will uh, recognize the existence of civilian casualties, will excuse itself and will uh, say that it is prepared to pay the appropriate compensation. We are convinced that this should be seen properly through and the responsibility lies not only with NATO and the Security Council but also with the new Libyan authorities too. Their attention on the issue of civilian casualties because of the airstrikes will be uh, proof of their commitment to the protection of human rights and will serve the issues of national reconciliation. We call upon the Secretary General of the UN to work with a joint declaration of the UN and NATO in order to bring an end to the issue of civilian casualties from NATO attacks. Secondly, we have expressed concern about the non-controlled proliferation of Libyan arms in the region, but however, it's not just uh, our weapons that are going abroad. We have received information that in Libya, with the support of the authorities, there is a special training center for the, civil, the Syrian revolutionaries and their people are sent to Syria to attack the legal government. This is completely unacceptable according to all legal bases. This activity is undermining stability in the Middle East. We think that Al-Qaeda is in Syria and therefore there's the issue. Should the the export of revolution, is that not turning into the export of terrorism? Now, uh, Colonel Gaddafi said that he was involved there as well, but surely issues need to be involved, uh, dealt with in their own countries. It is clear that the transition period in Libya is very difficult. Just a few days ago, there were, um, in the east of the country, there were signs of separatism and the use of force. We support the independence and sovereignty and territorial integrity of Libya. But nonetheless, we are convinced that all issues must be dealt with uh, by political means through dialogue. Uh, otherwise, the situation in Benghazi is going to turn into a tragedy. Thank you very much, Mr. President.